In today's video, we'll take a look at dereferencing, the dereferencing operator, and the array subscript operator as well. So let's start off with uh, dereferencing. What does it mean? So, so to be able to dereference a pointer, we first have to have a pointer, right? So let's start with that. Here I have a defined a simple variable and I want a pointer to it. So I'm gonna say here, I'm gonna define here a pointer, another int pointer, call it P, and that's going to be equal to the address of A, right? So it's going to point to A, right? We know that this is the type of our variable P, right? It's an int pointer and we know that a is of type int and the address of a, that's what this operator represents, is of type pointer to int, right? So now that we have that, let's try to work with it. So first things first, let's try to print the value of a on the screen using p. How do we do that? Well, we get here a printf simple, uh, percent %d because we are working with signed integers, then all we have to do is say p, right? So if I try to run this, I'm going to get, let's see. Uh, that doesn't seem right, does it? Hmm. No, no, because a is 16, it's we're getting here a very small number. What's the issue? Well, the issue is that p here in this context, p is actually an address. So what we are printing here is the address, is the value of this pointer. And the value of this pointer is the address of A, right? So what we were seeing there is the uh, address inside our memory for the variable A. Now, what we want to do is actually get the value from there. So, so how can we tell the language that what we want is not just the address, we want the value at that address? Simple enough, using the dereference operator like so. So now what C is going to do is uh, going to find P and going to look at what address is stored in there. Well, the actual value that's stored in there is the address of A. Okay, so go there, go there in memory and find me an integer. And it's gonna go there and return the value of A. All right, so now if I try to run this, you'll notice I get 16. Right, so this is how the dereference operator works, right? It takes a memory address, goes there, dereferences it, looks at that memory itself, what value it stores, and returns back that uh, value, right? So this is what we did here. Not to be confused with uh, this asterisk there. This guy is part of the type. Uh, part of the type of P here when defining it. So really, this is completely different from this, right? So try to don't, not get these two confused with each other. The cool part is you can use the same structure, this asterisk P, this dereference P structure to set the value at that memory address, simply by saying dereference P equals, let's say here 17. Right. If I try to run this now, I'm going to get 17 because simple with dereference P here. So now we have the actual value and we are setting it to 17. But you're going to have to look more into the L values and R values inside C, but that's basically the gist of it. If I were to do just P equals 17, that would set the actual uh address that P is pointing to. So here we're setting it to the address of A, and then here we would be setting it to the address 17, which is probably an invalid address. So if I were to run this, you'll notice I get read access violation, which makes sense because at that's a very uh, low address. It's probably already already read protected by the operating system, right? So you cannot, you cannot actually read address at uh, such low values, right? So that's why we are using the dereference operator here. So this is again the dereference operator. This is the dereference operator. This is not the dereference operator. Now a second operator is the array subscript operator, which also aids in dereferencing uh, values. So let's first initialize here an array. 
So now that I have an array, uh, let's say I want to print the second value inside our array. What do we do? That's simple enough. We just do printf, then percent %d because it's an integral, and we do array of uh, 1, right? So if I try to run this, I'm going to get 13 on the screen. You know that in most cases, this array identifier actually decays into a pointer, a pointer to the beginning of the array, to actually the first element of the array. We also know that if we add to the to a pointer, we are really just offsetting that pointer, that pointer's memory value, by the number that you add times the size of that uh, type that it's pointing to. So in our case, really to access 13, what we would have to do is, for example, get a get array, right, and simply add the value one to it. Since array is going to decay to an uh, to an int pointer, and if we add one, we actually add one times size of int. If we dereference this thing, we're actually going to get on uh, the number thirteen. So we can try it. So not just array plus one. We have to dereference this whole thing. If I try to run this, you'll notice I still get thirteen. Mm hmm. So really. This array subscript operator is just a shorthand for that operation of adding and then dereferencing, right? So, and really inside the specifications themselves, this array subscript operator, that's basically all, all it does. It adds those two and then it dereferences them. So this is why you would see some people use, for example, here, if I were to actually want to print the first element of the array, just array of zero, I would do that, right? So that's array of zero, that's five, that's fine and dandy. But here's why you would see some people use dereference of ARR of array. If I try to run this, I'm gonna get still five. That's because array of zero is actually array plus zero dereferenced. But really array plus zero is still array, so we can just uh, get rid of this and then get rid of parentheses. So that's why uh, it's the same exact result, right? Um, now there's a weird side effect uh, due to the fact that the array subscript operator simply adds those two values. And that is, well, you can have, for example, I can have here, if I want the second element, I can say, right, array plus one, and then dereference the whole thing, right? That we know that it works, nice, 13. But we can also say one plus array, right? It's the same thing. I mean, it's just an addition. But here's where the weird part comes in. So we know that uh, array plus one is equivalent to array of one, but one plus array, the reference is equivalent to what? One of array? Huh? That doesn't seem right. Like, what are you doing? Are you just like what is it is one a pointer and then you're trying to get the array element inside one it doesn't make any sense does it but when we try to run this we get 13 without an issue as you can see here so that's just due to the fact that uh, addition is commutative right you can have a plus b you can have b plus a the same thing. We we can have array plus one. You can have one plus array. In our case, this is really one plus array dereferenced. So this is why uh, this type of thing actually works. It's strange, of course, but no worries. It does uh, do the job. All right. So to recap, first things first. The dereferencing operator is not the guy that you see uh, near the type when defining a variable. This is not the dereferencing operator. This is a whole other thing that denotes a pointer, right? That we're defining a pointer here and that's it. Uh, second, this notation, right? Array of one is equivalent to dereferencing of array plus one. It's basically the same thing inside the compiler. It boils down to just that. It's just easier to write it like so, okay? So keep that in mind. And because of that, the third thing, that's why one of array also works, which is a bit strange, granted, I'm not gonna see anybody do it in a production code, uh, or I'm not gonna even allow it, but uh, it's possible if you 
truly want to hack the system, right? So I hope you got something out of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you do have any questions regarding this or pointers in general, do leave them down in the comments below or on our Discord server. You can jo join there. I'm uh, online most of the time, so you can ask questions live and I'm going to probably respond very, very fast. All right. So take care and see you guys next time. Bye.